Asikas Ona walked into a bar to see everyone crowded about a table watching a little show. And the table was an upside down pot and the duck dancing on it. The Asikas Ona was so impressed that he offered to buy the duck from its owner. After some wheeling and dealing, they settled for $10,000 for the dock and the pot. Three days later, the circus owner runs back to the bar in anger. Your dog is a rip-off. I put him on the pot before a whole audience and he didn't dance a single step. So? asked the dog's owner. Did you remember to light the candle under the pot? <laughs> Three guys were fishing in a lake one day when an angel appeared in the boat. When the three astonished men had settled down enough to speak, the first guy asked the angel humbly, I've suffered from back pain ever since I was in the Vietnam War. Could you help me? Of course, the angel said. And when he touched the man's back, the man felt relief for the first time in years. The second guy, who wore very thick glasses and had a hard time reading and driving, asked if the angel could do anything about his poor eyesight. The angel smiled, removed the man's glasses and tossed them into the lake. When they hit the water, the man's eyes cleared and he could see everything clearly. When the angel turned to the third guy, the guy put his hands out defensively. Don't touch me, he cried. I'm on a disability pension. <laughs> a guy walks into a bar and asks the bartender if he will give him a free beer if he shows him something amazing. The bartender agrees, so the guy pulls out a hamster who begins dancing and singing Tough Enough by the fabulous Thunderbirds. That is amazing, says the bartender, and gives the guy his free beer. If I show you something else amazing, will you give me another beer? The bartender agrees. So the guy pulls out a small piano and the hamster and the frog. Now the hamster plays the piano while the frog dances and sings, you ain't seen nothing yet song. The bartender, completely wowed, gives him another beer. A man in a suit, who have been watching the entire time, offers to buy the frog for a princely sum, which the man agrees to. Are you not? asks the bartender. You could have made a fortune of that frog. Can you keep a secret? asks the man. The hamster's a ventriloquist. <laughs> A fisherman returned to shore with a giant marlin that was bigger and heavier than he. On the way to the cleaning shed, he ran into a second fisherman who had a stringer with a dozen baby minnows. The second fisherman looked at the marlin, turned to the first fisherman and said, Only caught one, eh? <laughs> Two guys are out hunting deer. The first guy says, Did you see that? No, the second guy says. Well, a bald eagle just flew overhead. The first guy says, Oh, says the second guy. A couple of minutes later, the first guy says, Did you see that? See what? The second guy asks. Are you blind? There was a big black bear walking on that hill over there. Oh. A few minutes later, the first guy says, Did you see that? By now, the second guy is getting aggravated. So he says, Yes, I did. And the first guy says, Then why did you step in it? <laughs> Two young men were out in the woods on a camping trip. When they came upon this great trout brook, they stayed there all day enjoying the fishing at the end of the day, knowing that they would be graduating from college soon, they vowed that in 20 years, they would meet at the same place and renew the experience. 20 years later,
they met and traveled to a spot near where they had been years before. They walked into the woods and before long came upon a brook. One of the men said to the other, This is the place. The other replied, No, it's not. The first man said, Yes, I do recognize the clover growing on the back on the other side. To which the other man replied, Silly, you can't tell a broke by its clover. <laughs> a father and son went fishing one day. While they were out in the boat, the boy suddenly became curious about the world around him. He asked his father, how does this boat float? The father replied, don't rightly know, son. A little later, the boy looked at his father and asked, how do fish breathe under water? Once again, the father replied, don't rightly know, son. A little later, the boy asked his father, why is the sky blue? Again, the father replied, don't rightly know, son. Finally, the boy asked his father, Dad, do you mind me asking all these questions? The father replied, Of course not. You don't ask questions, you never learn nothing. <laughs> A young blind boy is being tucked into bed by his mother. The mom says, Now, Billy, pray really hard tonight and tomorrow. Your wish will come true. Billy says, okay, mommy, and goes to sleep. The next morning, Billy wakes up and screams, mommy, I'm still blind, my wish didn't come true. The mom answered, I know, April fools. <laughs> How did Helen Keller's mother punish her? By rearranging the living room furniture. <laughs> What's the difference between a camera and a sock? A camera takes four toes and the sock takes five toes. 